So ever since I bought my first iPad, I've been obsessed with going paperless, but I've never been able to fully get there until now. Let's ramble. Hold up. Face go up when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Hey, what's up guys? It is great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick, and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So going paperless has been a real quest for me for quite some time now. I even dedicated one of my earlier videos to going paperless on the iPad Pro, and I'll link to that video at the end of this video. I hate clutter and I don't like having to lug around a bunch of documents or books with me. They weigh me down and they're far too easy to lose. But when I don't have them with me, well, I don't have them with me, so I don't have access to them. And in this day and age, information is power, and I don't want to rely on trees to have this information available. I want to be able to access it wherever I want, whenever I want. Of course, I'm not the only one who feels this way, and I'm not the first one either. And the world has changed, and a lot of documents are sent to us digitally now. Companies are moving away from printed stuff and email you their documentation instead, and that's a good thing. Plus, we have access to a whole host of cloud solutions like Dropbox, Google Drive, or iCloud. So now you basically have only one thing to worry about bringing, and that one thing is the iPad. And everything is within reach, and I don't need to worry about accidentally leaving something at home. Not to mention the multiple ways in which you can use this device to create new digital notes and documents. I carry around one pen, and that is the Apple Pencil. It's liberating, it's efficient, it's the future. However, there are still authors and publishers that just won't publish their books as ebooks, and there are still plenty of organizations handing out piles and piles of documents. I see it in my own line of business as well. You won't believe the useless documentation I get shoved under my nose. Meeting agendas, background documents nobody reads, attendance lists, etc., etc. So my first instinct when I get those documents is to scan whatever I think is worth keeping and to throw away anything else. And of course we recycle, but still. Anyway, it is what it is and we still do own documents and books and I want them digitally on my iPad. So what can we do? Of course, there are plenty of apps available on the iPad that let you use the cameras on the back to quickly scan documents. And some of them are actually pretty good. My favorite scanner app is Scannable. Not only does it scan documents pretty near perfect, it also lets me send those scans directly into Evernote. Now, I have switched to Notion for most of my note taking and my organizing, but I still use Evernote to store my scanned documents. Evernote has built-in OCR, optical character recognition, and it still has one of the best search engines inside a note app that I've ever seen. So it is the perfect place to store and organize documents that you need to find quickly and easily. A scanner app like Scannable is great and it's super convenient to quickly scan one or two documents on the go. But you're not gonna scan a 40 page document like that, let alone an entire book. Now at home, we have a very good printer that has a scanner on board and it lets you top load a pretty big stack of documents, which I can scan in one go, even double sided. It's very efficient, but the documents don't always come out very straight when you scan like that. And of course, it still doesn't solve the books and magazines issue. If I wanna scan a book, I'll have to lay it face down on a flatbed scanner. That never comes out right, and it takes ages to do an entire book like that. Enter my favorite new tool. This funky looking dude is called the Caesar Aura Pro. I think it's pronounced Caesar. I've heard people say C-Z-U-R or Caesar. I'm sticking with Caesar. Anyway, this thing is really, really impressive. This is the first scanner I've ever seen that lets you actually scan an entire book in minutes. By the way, Caesar are not sponsoring this video, but they did send me this unit to try out. But if you've been to my channel before, you know that if something sucks, I will tell you. So let's have a look at what's in the box, the design, and then I'll show you its features and how I make it work with my iPad Pro. Because as it stands, this scanner does not have full-blown software for the iPad Pro, so you do need a Mac or a PC to get the actual scanning done. There's a little companion app for iOS and iPadOS, which I'll show you in a minute, but that really doesn't do much. I did ask Caesar about this, and they are in fact considering to create an iPad app as well. Having said that, this is obviously not meant to be a portable scanner. You're not gonna stick this in your backpack. I mean, this is meant to be used at a desk. And if you own an iPad Pro, chances of you not owning a Mac or a PC are pretty slim. So inside the box, we have the side lights, some documentation, the actual scanner, the foot pedal, power supply, finger cut one and finger cut two, 
and this black mat that I don't actually use. All right, so the design is really good. It's won the prestigious Red Dot Design Award, and I do really like the fact that it folds down like this. So its footprint on your desk becomes very, very small, and you can actually leave it there. And it's not like it's just in the way until you use it to scan something, because this thing actually doubles as a pretty good desk lamp. Press and hold the on switch once, and we are in desk lamp mode. You can then use the dial to control the intensity, or you can use the companion app I mentioned earlier. But as far as I can tell, it only operates the desk lamp, but it does so in a very cool way using sound. It doesn't work when the sound is off, but when I turn it back on, I can switch between natural light, reading light, computer or phone, and smart night light, which auto adjusts according to the room's brightness. You can also dim it manually. I do think it's a little bit silly that you need an app to change the temperature of the light. I would have preferred to have an option to just tap on the light itself or use a dial or something. The side lights you see here are removable and they're intended to be used in scanner mode. So they don't really do anything in desk lamp mode. And now for the good stuff, the scan. And that is where this device really shines. Pun very much intended. The Caesar comes with a QR code, which I've already peeled off, but that code gets you to the download page of the app. And once you have that installed, this is what it looks like. As you can see, there are quite a few options to customize your final result. There's a number of tools here to change the color, the quality, you can crop your scan if needed, and so on. And here you see all the options in which you can export your documents. Word and Excel both have optical character recognition, and I'll show you in a minute why that is so awesome. You can turn your scan into a searchable PDF or export it as a TIFF. Now, when we click on scan, it takes you to another page with another handful of options. And this is what I really appreciate about this app. It offers you plenty of options to customize and optimize your scans without becoming overwhelming. It is all laid out in a straightforward manner and it's very intuitive to use. So the most important thing to pick is of course the type of document you're trying to scan. If you pick a flat single page, it is very straightforward. You just place it underneath and it will find the borders automatically and turn it into a neat looking scan. But the real magic happens when we try to scan a book or a magazine. When you click on that, you see this line in the middle? And that's where the center of the book goes. So the pages are perfectly aligned. Now, when you click scan, it will scan both pages in one or two seconds, but it will separate them as individual documents, which is really fantastic. It uses lasers to detect the curvature in the book, and the software then processes those curves out and turns it into a straight document. If you have a book that is so curved that the pages keep flipping up, you can just use these finger cuts, which have codes on them, so the scanner simply keys them out of the image and they don't show up in the final scan. But wait, if you're using both hands to keep everything straight and flip pages, how do you click scan? Aha, meet the foot pedal. Tap it with your foot and it tells the device to scan. So now all you have to do is flip the page, tap your foot, flip the page, tap your foot. And this way you can literally scan an entire book in just minutes. I mean, I know I'm a big nerd and I've made my peace with that, but this blows my mind. Up here, you can choose what the scan should look like, color for magazines, black and white, grayscale, etc. I like the auto enhance feature, which gives you this super crisp result, which is great for reading it on your iPad. You can then change the thickness of the letters, the sharpness, and a few other things. Oh, and it has this LCD screen built in, so when you're standing up while scanning, you can actually just look at this screen, so you don't need to check your computer all the time. Once you're happy with your scan, you export it the way you want. I usually choose a searchable PDF and then simply airdrop it to my iPad so I can save it in one of my favorite apps, but you can even download it to your Kindle if that's what you like. One really nifty feature is the Word OCR option, which basically lets you scan a document and turn it into a fully editable Word file. I mean, it's never 100% perfect, but it's pretty darn close. And this can save you so much time when you're used to have to type up entire portions of the document. Now you just scan it and take the parts you need. That is a game changer to me. So yeah, I'm loving this thing. Could it be better? Yes, if it had a dedicated iPad app for the scanner. So Caesar, if you're watching, get cracking on that. And I promise you, this thing will be seen in many homes very soon. Guys, as always, links to everything in the description. If the video was useful to you, please give it one of these. It really does help the channel. Subscribe if you want. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.